to the sixth edition of Real Talk. I'm your host, Phil Mayer. Today we'll be dealing with a sensitive subject of terrorism as it relates to the youth of this country, Kenya. Now, the last one week we've had horrendous um, event at one of our local universities, a simulated terror drill at Chatham University, supposedly to test the preparedness of the students and staff there. Today with me today is Ian Karanja, a student at Stratmo, to share with us his experiences um, during that occasion. How are you feeling, first of all, Ian? Uh, I can say right now I'm just traumatized uh, from previous the week during the beginning of this week. But thank you for having me in this show. Right, right. Mm. I could say, yeah, people are scared right now, right. same as me. My friends, those who are with me, we're all scared. So, so, so there was a bit of trauma there. Yeah, there was a bit. Not a bit, it was a bit trauma. It was crazy. You it were was, traumatized. Yeah, I, I was traumatized. All right. And you can say, right now, you can't expect the same way I was before the dream and the same way I am right now are the same people. All right. They're totally different right now. Do you feel more prepared for a terrorist attack now that the drill was conducted? No. If, they, if for example, the same, the same drill would appear right now, right. I would still have the same action, like running for my life, because right. no one can say that they are prepared for a terror attack. Right. From, from an outsider's perspective, it seemed a bit irrational for people to jump from building windows and whatnot. What would you say about that, having been in the heat of the moment? Uh, we could say, like, those people, uh, they, in quotes, ter terrorists, uh, what, they are the ones who prompted the jumping because the uh, STC as itself, the student center, is not equipped for other exits. There are only two of them. So the only place is going up, and those guys are going up. So what else would you do? So you were pushed to the wall? Yeah, we were pushed to the and wall. the only exit was the window? Yeah, it was the windows. So it, it was not an irrational action for people to... To use no, the windows as except as it was the only option. All right. So that's the only. Like for me personally, I had the windows were the only option I had to use. Right. Like the doors, people are there. Like you would see them dressed and they're just shooting. Where else would you go? Tell me for you. Where else would you go? You right. in that situation. I feel you. Now, David, you're not in hospital. You don't have any physical injuries. A lot of people out there think that, um, well, if there are no physical injuries, then everything was fine, the drill went as well uh, as planned. But you talked of trauma. Can you help, help us, uh, help me understand why it's, uh, it's important to factor in the emotional distress that the staff the, and students, the community of staff went through on that day? Uh, first, trauma, uh, in a scientific matter, it affects your concentration. Because uh, you can't say physically, you can just enter a class and read. You have to be prepared to understand and to gain knowledge. Right. And right now, you, trauma hinders that. It makes your concentration distorted. Right. So right now, students, let's say for example, like us who had exams during that period and we just went to study, it becomes difficult because you still maybe have flashes of the images. Sometimes you may feel scared or unsafe. Those are symptoms of trauma. and. It's even more greatly than physical, though physical is there, but emotionally it's a big mess up for students. Ian, were you terrorized? Yes, I was terrorized. So the authorities simulated terror, supposedly to test your preparedness for terror. Don't you see anything wrong with that? Was, was, was that okay uh, by any standard? Maybe could it have been done better? Do you think in other circumstances, um, they could have done it uh, a bit better and it would be okay? Uh, if they had done it better, it would be okay. But the approach right now was immature. They didn't know how to conduct a drill. For example, I think they never knew the definition of a drill. Right. Uh, we've, after, the, after the attack, I went and searched for how a drill is supposed to be made. Right. And a drill is supposed to be taught there. There are supposed to be people there with you telling you how it's supposed to be there. If you're telling me that... But they said they trained you? No. Were you trained? I was not. Were your classmates trained? No. Did you hear of anyone who was trained? No. Shocking insights. Shocking. Now, you, you, you say there's a way in which a drill could have been carried out um, well. Yeah. But uh, I tend to disagree a little bit on that. Because um, terror, by definition, is 
um, causing fear through violence. And um, whichever way you carry out the drill, it's going to cause fear through violence, unless people know about it. And if they know about it, then it won't be a drill. You know, uh, in my opinion, you can't equate a fire drill to a terror drill. They're totally different yeah. situations altogether. So, but, uh, let me catch up to you there. All right. A drill yeah. is meant for you, like, in USA, in Europe, right. in Asia, in even Japan itself. They also have these mob drills. Drills are carried out every day. Yeah, drills are carried out every day. Like for example, Japan, there's hurricanes, there's earthquakes. Right. Then they have to be ready, ready for anything. Like you're taught from a young stage. You're taught with people. You can't say that you just, uh, I feel like just bombard somebody with a drill. Like people still have that inside of Garissa. Their their lives are still. Even though it may be like we are not the ones who are affected by the Garissa attack, but still people have that mindset that. It could also happen to us. All right, David. The people who contend that, um, however, however, whichever way they conducted the drill, there would still be well a bit of a few injuries here and there. That is, if no one knew about it. And you know, they say that tough times call for tough measures. And terrorism, as we know it today, is quite a new and innovative um, set of crimes. And and how you combat it has to be different from 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 the norm from the norm. So people are saying this is collateral damage of injuries here and there to, to save more lives in future. What do you have to say about that? So you're telling us that we are guinea pigs in a laboratory for your experiments. Now that's not, that's even so inhumane. Right. You can't say that we shed a few people away from, uh, we shed a few uh, chess, board, right. chess pieces from the boat so that right. you can win. Right. No, that's not true. You can't equate somebody who is in there. So people are playing with your lives? Yeah, people are playing with their lives. Authorities mess with your lives? Yeah. Do you think action should be taken against the authorities? Yes. A big yes. Right. For example, right now, I would be happy if somebody is resigned. Somebody is supposed to be uh, taken to court. Now hold it there, Ian. You're calling for resignations on what basis exactly? On ignorance, negligence. For example, mostly negligence because... Right. Because if you, you they said that they informed everyone, where was the fact? Where are people? No one came here and said that yes, we are informed. If you are informed, no one would jump from windows. In other words, they were ignorant of the casualties. They said they could. How they were showing it was that it was just something. Like they they, they never took any consideration that people would jump. Right. So they did not think it through enough. They did not um, see that when they do what they did, yeah. that it would cause people to take the actions that they did. Yes. So that's that's some quite quite a bit of negligence on their part. Yes. Something indeed. should be done about that. Yes. All right, Dave. Again, powerful, powerful insights. But now you've talked of trauma. Personally, you you've suffered, and I'm really sorry. Um, I was with you yesterday, and. Um, I, I, I got to see you get counseling first hand and um, at least there's a bit of improvement you could say. What about the hundreds of other students who have not received counseling? What, 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 what do you think? What, 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 what is the way forward? Should the school continue or should, should people be given a break? First, uh, first and foremost, counseling doesn't help. Honestly, to be, uh, to be truthful there, it's, it doesn't help. But it's all about your attitudes, yeah? Uh, it can be about attitude. Yeah, it can be by them. It's a major factor there. Right. You can't say the same people who pro brought you through this drama are the same people who are supposed to cancel you. But if you make a mess, you're the one who's supposed to fix the mess. Yeah, fix a mess. People are not safe. People don't have that sense of safety. Right. You can't just say, say canceling in the same school where people... So there's a lack of trust. There's a lack of trust, but they a huge lack of trust. All right. It's really difficult because like you can see like the same student center, you go and sit down, somebody just falls on a plate, like a plate just breaks there. That sound can make somebody jump. Right. And we saw that in Nairobi University yeah. um, after Garissa attack, uh, a, a blast in the electric lines and, and people, people went, just jumped. It was crazy. Yeah. So tell me right now, is that really, can, can counseling really help that? Tell me, from your opinion, can right. counseling help that? Counseling can help you. Yeah. Huh? Counseling can help. 
I went, okay, personally, I went for counseling. Right. The lady who I told my experience, now so I, I feel, I felt like now I'm the counselor. Now it's about like telling her. So tell me, somebody who has not related to that, I think mostly it's supposed to be people who sit down, those who have been traumatized. Can't bring somebody from outside who doesn't know that and be understanding. In your back mind, you'll say, this guy doesn't still. But yeah, these people are trained for that. You know that That's someone's career. When they somebody's career, it still it, it still says that that lady took her time to help you get through your situation. You know, as much as you can say she took my time, her time to tell me, in the end she was one who was crying, not me. She was one who felt like she needed counseling because it became traumatic to her also. So you can't say that it helped. People need to know the truth because you could say like I felt so hard that when I was in the news, people said that it was something which was affected. Like it happened, it produced good results. Good results. Almost like twenty people are in hospital and one person died. That that's not that's not success. You think compensation is not no. financial? No financial. Financially, it will never be enough. No one can equate a human life. What needs to be done? As my, I'll go back to my point. You need to be tried in court. People should be prosecuted. Yeah, people should be prosecuted. Whoever was there did that. Yes. And stop, and stop hiding it under other people. They're supposed to be there. Like They're supposed to see them being taken with police people. Do you think there's a cover-up? There is a cover-up. Honestly, there is a cover-up. You can't say, like in the news, they didn't mention those people who got hurt. They just said it was a t it was a drill went wrong. How can a drill be wrong? A drill has never been wrong by the industry. You can all the drills which have been made there, the correct way of drills, they have never gone wrong. This, sure? Yeah, really. Like they don't go wrong because those are the those are the actual drills. Actual drills, the students are informed. Like you can see, the other students, like in in uh, Britain, like it always happens. Like people are very sure that in the first week after fall, when fall appears, when school comes up on September, they know there will be a drill. People are already ready. Right. This wasn't a drill, and I still emphasize that this was not a drill. It was a terror attack. There you have it. it was not a drill. It was a terror attack conducted by the authorities. Better. <laughs> For another terror attack by the real terrorists. What is your take? I've been your host, Phil Mayo. Thank you very much, Ian, for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. You've been bold. God bless you. Thank you.